as a government, as a cabinet, decided that we need to take some time out, out of the office and that can, we can concentrate in looking at the accomplishments and the challenges and what supposed to be our priorities for the new financial year. We did it last year and we did it today. And I think that by any measures you would take that the People's United Government has been quite successful, much more successful than anybody would have thought, considering the challenge that we were facing from reducing un unemployment to record to a record low of 5%, growing the economy 12.5%, 2021, 2022 seems to be going to be between 8 and 12%. We've managed to reduce the, our national debt by over a billion dollars. We have record investments in agriculture, in housing, in um, tourism. We can say that as a government, we have regained the confidence of the Belizean people and the investment community. We've even, despite the fact that uh, we ended the year with, with some gruesome uh, murders, you know, in Bamapan and in San Pedro, there was quick response from, from the police. And it seems that we, we caught the alleged perpetrators in, in, in both cases. But even the police, we have seen that the numbers have decreased to its lowest uh, levels of murders uh, probably since 2012. So we have to admit, you know, that, that we had these successes, but challenges continues. And it's important for us to be able to discuss as a group, make presentations to the group, and then from there trying to come up with what would be the priorities for the new fiscal year.